In April and in December, pedestrians run in the crosswalk on River Road near Garden Place in Edgewater. Even if one lane stops, the other lane doesn't see it. I had a panic attack. Min Ju says she was struck in the area last week. She was walking to get her eight year old from school. It's very emotional for me. I could have died. And last month, I heard like a thud. I came out, a woman was on the ground. It's a death trap. There's commuter bus stops on both sides of the street. People will not stop. And the town and the town keeps on growing and growing. Matt Mullen and his wife started an online petition for a traffic light this spring. When we demanded answers in April, a county spokesperson said by summer commuters would be able to push a button and activate lights in the crosswalk like this system in Florida. So that when the lights do blink, traffic does have to stop. We went to the police today. Our media officer is not in at the moment. The borough administrator was not at Borough Hall, but emailed us saying the borough's gone to bid twice for the project, but only found one contractor. That company exceeded the budget. He claims they can't negotiate because the state has one of the most stringent bidding laws in the nation. With Edgewater, it just seems like excuse after excuse after excuse. And Jew says she will order a ride sharing app if she needs to just to cross River Road. It's not a good situation. So the borough says it will go out to bid again in the next two months, hoping to get an early start on contractors looking for spring or summer work. In the meantime, there is no word on extra police presence here to keep pedestrians safe. In Edgewater, New Jersey, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. In the state of New Jersey, you only have the right of way once you are in the crosswalk. If you're waiting on the curb, the law says cars do not have to yield.